Welcome back, everybody. <coughs> DJ Numismatics, and like I said in my last video, I had a full box of unearthed circulated pennies. And I don't remember the last time I actually went to the bank and picked up an opened box of circulated pennies. So hopefully, we find something good in here. I'll be looking for all kinds of varieties weed scents, Indian heads, you name it. So let's uh, hopefully get a fix for my copper itch. Roll number one. Roll number one and we're gonna have our first find. It is foreign. And that is a 1976 Canadian. We're on roll three and we are going to have our first wheat scent of the box, and that is a, if I can get this thing to focus, 1957 out of Philly. Same roll, and we're going to have a wheat scent number two, and that is a Nineteen forty six, Denver. It's been a pretty slow box. We're on roll thirteen, and we've got another foreign, and that's a nineteen seventy four Canadian cent. Pretty toasty. We're on roll sixteen, and this box has been pretty boring. Up until now, check this out. This is the coolest penny I've probably ever found. It's a 1989D. If you look at it, see if we can get it to focus. Try again, try again. You can see, in God we trust. You can also see that weird border. Then look over here. In God we trust. I do believe they call this a double struck in collar rotated something or other. I'll have to look it up myself. I'm not too keen on that, but if you look at the back, you can see around the back side the same thing. And then if you look right there, I'll put it under my scope in a minute. I do believe that's VDB from the front. Let me throw this under the scope for you guys. Okay, as you can see on the front side here, I do believe it has been double struck. You can see where it's been struck again there. And then from here, you can see it again, rotated in collar, because there it is, in God, we, us backwards. You know what? I'm going to have to <laughs> do some major research on this thing because I have never came across anything like this. This is really awesome. And then the back side here. Go around the edge. You can see the same right there. And you can slightly see some of it there. But if we come down here right let's see here hold on hold over I do believe not positive but I do believe that's the VDB from the front It's definitely seen circulation. I can't believe nobody else has caught this in this many years. It is a 1989D. Awesome. Let's finish this up. Same roll as that crazy 89D. We're going to have 
We sent number three, that's the last year, 1958 Denver. We're on roll, 19, and we're gonna have weed scent number four of the box. And that is a 1949D that has definitely seen better days, but a weed scent nonetheless. Same roll as that beaten and battered 49. We've got a pampered 1993 Canadian scent. We're on roll 23 and we're gonna have wheat scent number five I do believe and that is a another 1957 Denver. While I got here I can notice foreign edge sticking out so let's see what we got that's a 1991 Canadian penny I just finished with the roll 26 and I seen these three popping out so I figured I'd just show you at the end that's a 73 or 79 a 73 and a 1962 young head. Hopefully we find some more weeds. We're on, <coughs> excuse me, roll 19. And we are gonna have weed scent number six. And that is a, another 58D. And while you're here, I seen a date sticking up right here. And that is a 1954D. Wheat scent number seven. That's seven wheats, seven Canadians. Roll 31 and we've got Wheat scent number eight, and that is a 56 out of Denver. We're on roll 38, and we've got another wheat scent, and that is a 1952 out of Denver. I will put that one under the, under the scope and check that for the D over S. 51 and 52 both have a D over S. So I'll check it. If I find it, I'll bring it back. We are now on roll 38. I think I said roll 38 at roll 32 earlier. And we've got Canadian number eight. And that is a 1993. We're on roll 43, yeah, 43, and we got Canadian number nine, and that is a, oops, 1867 through 1967, Centennial. Well, it's on roll 44, and we got a pretty cool find, and that would be a 1998, and if you flip it over and look, that is the wide AM variety. You see the F FG there also is closer, which is an another indicator that it is the wide AM. Let me throw it up on the microscope, I'll show you a better look. As you can see, there is a large gap between the A and the M. And down here, on the FG, it is closer to the building. It's not in the greatest shape, but 
I do believe this is the second most rare of the white AM varieties, 99 being the most rare. Well, let me finish up this roll. We're on roll 49, and we're going to have our 10th wheat scent of the box, and that is a, let's see if we can get that. 1952 again out of Denver that one not in as good a shape and while you're here if you look here I seen it a second ago where did it go all right there I can see the edge of a horn and that is also gonna be our tenth of the box and that is a Beat up as well, 1978, Canadian. Well, that last roll didn't have nothing in it, and I normally don't do this, but I figured, why not? I'll keep all my coppers just to show you what I catch out of a box, and if I had to guess, that's maybe close to 10 rolls. And then as for fines, we ended up with. 10 wheats, 10 Canadians, and then I got a, a few estimated ones, 374s, a 71, 270s and 269s, and then got that 98 white AM, and then that funky double stamped 89. Well, for not having any boxes of full boxes of pennies to search in a while, I'd say this was a, a decent hunt, all in all. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. And hopefully, I can find some more soon in the future and we can do some, some more. I do have a box of nickels ordered for next Monday, so. We will at least have another box of nickels next week to go through. So, as always, I will post a link up here for some of these finds. Like I say, they make it onto uh, my eBay page. And from what everybody that I've been told have bought for me, is, uh, I'm pretty good to work with and uh, reasonable on my rates. So, until next time. Keep your eyes peeled for all those oddities. And with the weather out there, stay warm, stay safe, and happy hunting.